Yes, sir. I would like to give myself up. My name is Nikolai Lubin. I'm an operative of the KGB. I have been spying on your country for five years. That's very funny, sir. I think you've had a few too many. Not even one, unfortunately. You are joking, aren't you? I think it would be as well if you found out. Oh, yes, sir. I think you'd better come along with me. Bumbling, inept. Something to get the feeling that all the talent is with the opposition. Very sorry, sir. What no, you not do? you, Cross. Not yet, anyway. Come in. Thank you. Is Callum in yet? Well, you gave him a day's leave of absence. The telephone sir. is flat. I have done three well, times. Telephone again. Yes, sir. All right, Bella, get out. You read this? Uh, yes, sir. You know where he is? Well, he's in prison. He goes for trial in a month's time. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Why did he give himself up, Cross? Hmm? Well, asylum. After what he'd done? Not a hope. Why? The KGB after it? Certainly not. He served them well and faithfully. Do you know the jobs he's done? Well, it's in the file, yes, sir. No, no, it isn't. Not all of it, anyway. Besides this, a lot he got hold of the Atropos missile, the Petronius tank, and the full background of our Middle Eastern commitment. Only five copies in the world. One for each of the Chiefs of Staff, one for the PM, and one for the Foreign Secretary. <laughs> and he got photostats. Uh, he had a contact, you see. A beauty. Contact with the spying, Lubin was controller. Contact's name's Remington. Officially, he's in the records office. Unofficially, he's an archivist of top secret documents, cleared right up to here. And Lubin got him. Hmm? Oh, he sounds a bit of a whiz kid, sir. He's Callan's age. Uh, what uh, happened to Remington, sir? I had him picked up this morning. Well, shouldn't he be handed over to Special Brian? Possibly. Possibly. For the moment, I want him here. Well, it's a bit unusual, isn't it, sir? Where the devil is Callum? Oh, he's an unusual man. Like Lubin. They also got hold of another document. Sir? A very rare document. Only two copies exist. One here, the other in archives. The names of our controllers in Prague, Budapest, Warsaw, Moscow, East Berlin. My God. Yeah, Lubin didn't get it out, but he's got the names all right. Here. That's why I wanted him. That's why he gave himself up. I'm afraid I don't quite follow that, sir. If you wanted to hide from me, James, can you think of anywhere safer than prison? Except perhaps a graveyard? Yes. Callum, sir. Well, put him on, put him on. That's just it, sir. I'm afraid there's still no reply. Damn. But you have known the prisoner for some years, have you not? Yes, sir. And seen him regularly? Oh, that is correct, sir. May we ask why, Mr. Callum? You are, after all, a man of some substance. You're a partner in a business, I understand. A junior partner, sir, yes. Uh, what sort of business, Mr. Bonnegan? Mr. Callan? It's uh, scrap metal, my lord. A Hunter and Callan Limited. Uh, did you purchase this partnership? Uh, well, no, no, not exactly. Well, I, I um, worked my way up from the bottom, as you might say. Uh, proceed, Mr. Bonnegan. My question is this, Mr. Callan. Why should you, a successful businessman, associate with the prisoner here? A man who, on his own admission, has committed 25 acts of larceny. Well, sir, I, I, I did think that he, he needed a friend. He's, um, he's not too bright, you see, and he is very easily led. I, um, I, I tried to keep him out of trouble, but unfortunately, last year I had a rather serious illness. I was in hospital for some considerable period of time, and, uh, well, we lost touch, and that's when he started getting into trouble again. 25 times? Uh, yes, yes, I know, my lord. But as I say, he is very easily led, and I, I, I feel that he needs a strong character beside him. And you have a strong character, Mr. Callan. Well, yes, my lord, I think I can honestly say that. Uh, thank you, Mr. Bonington. Mr. Callan, you stood bail for the prisoner. Well, my partner helped me, sir. In a considerable sum. Three thousand pounds. You had sufficient faith in this man to risk forfeiting three thousand pounds. Well, he is here now, sir. May I ask how the prisoner lived while you befriended him? Oh, honest job, sir, I assure you. There was no thieving. How, exactly? Well, so I got him work. Yes. And you would do so again? Oh, yes, indeed, sir. I mean, that is why I'm here. Uh, that's what I hope you will let me do. Lubin's courageous and ruthless, of course. One expects that. 
He's also extremely clever. Oh, to get all that information, he must be. Mm, not only that. Just think. Two of our people went after him. He was under no illusion of what happened to him. They brought him here. So, he surrendered to the police, who were naturally delighted to offer him free board and lodging and protection. All the same, sir, considering what he's done... Good Lord, James, you don't suppose he's confessed to everything, do you? Lord, no. Just enough that they can prove, so they can keep him inside, away from me. For how long? 10, 15, 20 years? There is one thing you've forgotten, sir. Indeed? The KGB may try and get him out. They always do if they can, otherwise their operatives wouldn't be so keen on risking prison. I hadn't forgotten that. No doubt Lubin hasn't forgotten it either. At least I hope not. Hmm? It'll make everything so much simpler when we lift him ourselves. I, um, I have listened with some astonishment to the catalogue of your crimes. Twenty-five offences in such a short space of time. Offences committed with great expertise, but uh, little intelligence. The evidence of Mr. Callan, I must say, astonished me also. Astonished and delighted. It is indeed a pleasure to learn that honest and upright citizens are willing to devote themselves to the welfare of criminals. Even such utterly case-hardened criminals as yourself. Because I have great reliance on Mr. Callan's influence over you, and because I am sure that influence can lead to nothing but good, and for no other reason, I am going to be lenient with you. I sentence you to six months imprisonment for each of the 25 offences. The sentence will run concurrently. Is it all right for you, sir? All oh, right. Listen, what is 25 times a half? 12 and a half. There you are, then. What? I get sent down for 12 and a half years. He's sitting up there laughing. And that judge, he said he's going to be lean. You've got six months. Yeah, 25 times. Current. Oh, look, I know that. Right, it's not the same as hard labour. Ah, uh, it means you do it all at once. You got sentenced 25 times. You're telling me. But you only do six months. Honest. Cross my arm. Oh, oh Mr. Callan, he's a real mate, isn't he? I still don't get it, though. Yes? Mr. Callan, sir. I sent him in. Where the devil have you been? Leave of absence, sir. You picked your day for it. Why, well, what's up? Lubin. Lubin? Well, he's in the nick. Yes. And I want him out before the KGB get him back. Ah, oh, see. Yes, I believe you do. Do you see, Cross? Yes, sir. You want us to kill him? Precisely. We've no alternative. It's time for Lubin to go. Good man, Lubin. A bit dodgy. I don't think so. He'll be expecting to be lifted by the KGB. Lifted. What's well, the team job, isn't it? Of course. Right, you lead. Pick who you like. James. One other. I'm uh, Meller, I suppose, if he's free. You don't want a Russian speaker? No, no. We'll have to work this as a contract, won't we? I want Meller because he's a heavy. And an athlete. We'll all be athletes, mate, by the time this is finished. Lock expert? Who helps me? Anything else? Where is Luby? Castle view. Oh. I spent six lovely months there once. Yeah, right, well, big vehicle. I don't know, um, petrol tank or something like that. And, of course, sir, we will need the Russian code words. Mm -hmm. oh. 
Oh, Lubin's not going to budge out of that cell if we don't get him right, is he? Who were his contacts? He only had one. A Remington record. Yeah, I suppose he's disappeared. No, he's with interrogation. Don't see how they're going along, will you? Tell them it's urgent. Oh, come on, I don't oh, want to go along. along. Come on. Something amuses you, Cross? Uh, just Mr. Cullen, sir. He's a bit uh, tender-hearted for this game sometimes. You've never been down to the interrogation room, have you? Uh, no, sir. I think perhaps you should. Might help to curb your sense of humor. This job is not going to be easy. Stubborn little bastard. You anything? A few bits, that's all. Is he red? No, poof. Lubin's his whole world. Oh, well, what did you get? A few dead drop places. The camera you used. A couple of code words. Oh, well, back to work. No. I've got orders. You've got other orders now, mate. You've got mine. You just tell me what the code words are. And you bloody wait. Wanted on the telephone. You're wanted on the telephone. In English, not Russian. Yeah. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. Unpleasant, was it? Yeah, you could call it that. This code phrase. You sure it's on? It's hardly relevant to a prison, is it? I tell you, I'm sure it's genuine. Now we've got to get it to him. Any ideas? Yeah, I've got one. And you're going to have to ask the Home Office for a favour. Must I? Yeah, I'm afraid you must if you want Lubin out. Look, I want a fellow in there with him. And I know just the man. Right. Friday suit you. Friday? As soon as that? Well, this is a KGB job. There's a Russian ship due off deal on Saturday morning, and Lubin knows about it. It should help with our little fiction, don't you think? You sure he knows about it? Cost me 5,000. I'm sure. All right, well, Friday you'll have to be then. Where do we do him? Yeah, deal. Well, blimey, that's over 200 miles from the prison. 263. But you, the section, didn't kill him. KGB did. Oh, I see. Then put him off a Russian ship that happens to be off deal. You are a cunning old bastard. Hmm? Oddly enough, it isn't true. Oh. What favour do I ask? To do better than that, mate, won't you? So will you, won't you? Ah, well. My age, I should qualify for a rope ladder. Yeah, I'll fix you one up. Yeah. Mind you, I'm not in bad nick for my age. You never give up, do you? How do you mean? Trying to prove you're the greatest. That's right, son, I'll never give up. Can't afford to, can I? I'm the oldest. Oh. All right, go on. Tell me the route. Oh, come on. I've told you nine times already. So, tell me again. 
Oh. Right. Into the lane, over the wall by the laundry, across the exercise yard to D wing. How long? Two minutes. Go on. You pick the lock. Eight seconds. Into D wing. You pick the second lock. Two seconds. Only two. You sure? I'll have a key, won't I? Go on. Right, lift Lubin. Out the same way, same time for getting out. It's upstairs, Lubin might slow us down a bit. Minute for accident. In and out, five minutes, eight, 38 seconds. All right? Right. What happens if we have to thump somebody? Oh, we thump them. Only they recover. Guns? Only Lupin. Hello, officer. How are you? Oh, well, no. I'm all right in myself, Mr. Cannon. Huh? You don't look too good. Yeah, you put a bit of weight on, haven't you? Well, I meant to say... The grub's quite good in here. It's regular, I know. Yeah. You seem to be coping with your personal hygiene problem too, don't you? Nothing to worry about in here, is there? What are you looking so narked about then? Do you think I was going to get you off? Oh, no, no, no. I mean, to get it down to six months up is a bloody marvel. <laughs> Mr. Cal, honestly, the way you conned the old judge, <laughs> I thought I was going to pee myself last <laughs> I just still don't get it now. What? Well, look, 25 times a half, that's 12 and a half years. How are they going to let me out in six months? Listen, mate, look, don't get brain fatigue about it, right? Just take my word for it, they'll let you out. But, I mean, it's only just over four with remission. I'll be out in time for me holidays. You're on your holidays, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, well, not no more. I'm not being shifted. Castle view. You know what? Yeah, Chief Screw come up and told me it's more of a big grin. Hello, my little lad. I've got good news for you. You are being shifted. You are going to Castleview first thing in the morning. What do they want to go and do a thing like that for? Well, what's wrong with that? Well, it's not like here, is it? It's a home from home in here. Castleview. That's where they remind all the hard geezers. You don't have to tell me, son. I know. Yeah, but what chance have I got against that lot? Castleview, eh? Well, that's a coincidence, isn't it? Don't get you. Oh, you will, old son, you will. Are you forward? Oh, yeah. Got a job for you. You gone balmy? Bell time, bell time. Blimey, Master Dan. <laughs> I can't do jobs. Mr. Cullen, this is a nick. Not will you, bell time. Smile. Go on, keep smiling while I'm talking. Smile, smile, that's it. That's lovely. The job I want done, mate, is in Castle View, right? What sort of job? Break out. Oh, my God! Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. Your hygiene problem's coming back good and strong, mate, isn't it? Do you wonder? Do you wonder? Look, Mr. Cullen, please. Mr. Cullen, I don't mind doing six months. <laughs> Listen, you twisted nit. It is not you that's going to break out, is it? Who is it, then? Play called Lubin. He's a spy, isn't he? That's right. Well, I don't hold with spies. Hard luck, mate. Lubin's the contract. Mr. Callan. That man is a traitor to the Queen. <laughs> Rule Britannia. <laughs> Listen, there's 250 quid in it for you, right? If you do as I tell you, and mate, you better do as I tell you. I mean, after all, what is it? Uh, four months should be out, right? Yeah, that, that's two, j just over uh, four months. I mean, just a couple of days yeah, over. Yeah, that's good, isn't it? That's very good. Yeah, yeah. Well, right. Tell me. Sneeze. What? Sneeze. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, dear. Oh, sorry. Blimey, mate. <laughs> Look. Nasty cold there. That's it. I'll use that. It's clean. Cha. Oh. Thanks very much, Mr. Cannon. Blimey, I don't want it back, do I? Not after you used it to blow your nose on there. Keep it. Oh. Thank you. That's... Oh, that, that is very kind of you, Mr. Cannon. Yeah, well, don't say I never give you anything, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, lean forward. Here's what you do. Nine, ten... You'll have to do it faster than that, Mr. Cullen. 
Well, I'm working on it, son. Long hair, didn't it? Still, he's right, isn't he? Yeah. Two seconds over. Be all right in the night. You got any problems? Well, I can handle the rope better without these gloves. Now, you just practice with them on. Anything else? No. no. Yeah. Where do we get the tanker? Tomorrow. Good. You sure you can handle it? Yeah, I've driven ten tonnes of it. Yeah, all right, we'll go out in it a lot tonight. Yeah, I told you, I, I said we'll go them. out in it, mate. We've got to make sure. Now, this one's got to be right, James. Well, when do we do it? Friday. Friday? Two days? You're in a hurry, aren't you? <sighs> yeah. Me and Hunter. Onward, Christian soldiers, marching as to war, with the cross on. Isaiah. Friends of mine. Chapter 61. Contract job. Verse 1. When? Friday night. He has sent me to bind up the broken hearted. He has sent me to bind up the broken hearted. To proclaim liberty to the captives. And the opening of the prison to those that are bound. God blame he's on to us. Some of you must be thinking that I've picked a pretty ironic text for a sermon. But I assure you the irony was not intended. For just as our Lord assured us that his kingdom was not of this world, so the liberty I speak of is the liberty not of the flesh, but of the spirit, the most blessed liberty of all. For our souls can never be held captive unless we ourselves make them so. By forging the chains of wrath, of greed, of lust, which only we ourselves can break. Here's the greed out of a lust. Or the chain of pride, the heaviest chain of all. Are you sure? Yeah, he knows. Well, blimey, you think Friday night was going to be Christmas Eve when I told him. Have you got the other? Yeah, in a minute. Well, yeah. Down there, miss. Yeah, right. Things off? No, no, no. <laughs> Is it double action? No. Triple. Oh, my God. <coughs> Why don't you sneeze? <coughs> oh, oh, bless you. How's that? Oh. Thanks very much, mate. So. Oh. There we are. Thank oh. you. Thank you. Well, then. Still on, then, eh? Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't have to do any more. I don't have to tell him any more, do I? No, 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 no. You, uh, you've done your job. Money? Well, I'll be uh, outside for you. <laughs> oh, thanks. Thanks a lot. Oh, you'll be a bloke. You're capitalist, mate, won't you, by the time you've finished? I reckon I'm entitled, Mr. Callan. I've always been a great believer in private enterprise. <laughs> Last of the mini spenders, eh? <laughs> you know, I, I just wish I could have been more help to you, you know. With that D-wing look. Oh, it's all right, mate. You've done your whack. All that the real bastards. Nightlands. Yeah. Well managed, won't I? Blimey, I've got to. Look, I bet you've never even seen a night and lock. I could be there forever. Will you listen to me? Of course, me? mind you, I could go into the prison tonight, couldn't I? I could break in, you know, take a little uh, impression of it. Callum, Callum, could wax Callum be quiet. Sit down.
This came for you. That's just what I've always wanted. A night and lock. It'll help them. Oh, too right, it'll help. Might be the same pattern as the one that's in the knit, but then the night and never make two the same anyway. Still a man of come practice on it, can't I? Just as a matter of interest, sir, when did you get it? Yesterday. As soon as I heard they had one at Castleview. You really want Lubin, don't you? So do you. What? That list of names that Lubin has, they're marked for death. Oh, yes, so I would have supposed. Lubin added another name himself. Yours. You are joking, sir. Oh. Right, that's it. I mean, it's off, isn't it? I mean, I can't do it. Look, I walk into that cell, mate, he recognised me. No, no description, no photograph, just a name. Look, I can't let Cross handle this. It's too risky. So I'm stuck with it. Yes, you are. Yeah. Don't forget the lock. Uh, no. There is one other point. It would seem that in the eyes of certain people, you're beginning to be a top man. What was that your other point, sir? Hmm? You take care. Good luck. Yeah. They call lonely, aren't you? Uh, yeah. yeah, that's right, sir. Yes, I noticed you when I was preaching last Sunday. You seem very impressed. Yeah, well, well it was all m most interesting, sir. Oh, I'm so glad. What interested you precisely? Well, all that about freedom, sir. Very beautiful, that was the freedom of a spirit. I th that means that you don't belong to anybody else, doesn't it? Hmm, in a way, yes. I mean, it means you, you are your own man. It don't matter if you're outside or in here doing porridge, you're still your own man. But aren't you? And me? Hmm. Oh, no. No, I never have been. That's always been my trouble. Always needed other people. I suppose I just couldn't call my soul my own. But your friend? Friends, I haven't got no friend. Well, got one. The rest of them, I had just tea leaves like myself. That's how I finished up in here, in this home from home. That and the fact that you stole. God blimey, I can't do anything else. Get... Oh, I, I'm sorry. I... Uh, that's all right. Go on. Sit down. Oh, come on. Sit down. Well, what I meant to say, sir. I mean, look what they've done to me in here. They, they put me in a cell with a spy. Lubin. Yeah. I don't hold with spies, sir. They're nearly as bad as sex maniacs. But surely... You and he shared a hymn book on Sunday? Yeah, well, I mean, I had to, hadn't I? I mean, it's still not right. Hmm. Tell me, why did Lubin attend divine service? Surely he's an atheist. Oh, no. He's a communist. No, no, I mean, doesn't believe in God. Oh, no. But, I mean, he likes a bit of company. Well, we all do. Including you? Oh, me especially. I mean, company's what put me in here. Company, vile company, has been the ruin of me. Is that the Bible, sir? No, no. Henry the Fourth, Part One. Shakespeare, you know. Oh. It's Falstaff's line, but in his case, it was intended as a joke. Oh, uh, yeah, see. <laughs> yeah. I'll bet he wasn't in here when he said it.
Nine seconds. All right, well, there we are. We double it would be all right. Yeah, but what about the cell lock? One key. God, where'd you get that? Got contacts everywhere, mate. All right, equipment check. Right, uh, one, two, three balaclavas, three pairs of gloves. Uh, two ropes, two grapnels, one knotted rope, and uh, one spare balaclava, spare pair of gloves. Right. One, two, three automatics. Not magnums. Not this time, no. What are they, Wolf for 38s? Have a look again. I got offs, nine millimeter, Russian. And why are they Russian? Because this happens to be a KGB job, right? <laughs> One other thing. No names. Come again? You don't call me Cal and I don't call you Miller. Why that's not? Because Luby knows my name, right? Right. Let's go. Wanted on the telephone. Good luck, Mr. Cat. Take this. Sorry. You should have kept to your timetable, son.
obliged to. You're all right, I'll save it, mate. Let's go. Come on. The shy type's gone up you go. Set the matches. We don't smoke here, comrade. We don't even make sparks. There's been too much petrol through it. Here. Combustible? Very nice. Very, very, nice. very nice indeed compared to Castle View. Watch it. Mm. The gun. Did you intend to use it? If I had to. Makarov, is it? Yes. I thought you couldn't get them in this country. You thought wrong then, didn't you? So it seems. Thanks. How much are they paying you for this job? 50,000. You have no idea how very flattering that is. Harry, he sparked up. So it's lonely. Yes, someone thumped him, poor little bastard. Lubin! Where do we go? View. There's a motorboat there, take you out of the ship. A nice sea voyage. I shall enjoy that. Slowing down. How do you feel? Oh, terrible. Can you tell me about it? I already told the chief screw. Believe me, old chap, there is a reason. Oh, well, whatever you like, sir. Well, see, I was just lying here. See? Just like this. Yes. But of course, I'm asleep, see? And suddenly, don't know why, I wake up. Well, there's two geezers. They're coming through the door. They've got on balaclava helmets, big woolly gloves, olive oil, a right pair of Frankensteins. And they start to take Lubin out. Go on. Well, I mean, I yelled, didn't I? Why, were you afraid? If I'd just been afraid, I'd have kept my bleeding mouth shut when... Well, I'm, I'm sorry. No, so. that's all right. So why did you try to shout? Well, well, I mean, he, he's a spy. I don't hold with spy, so I never have. It's un-British, that is. What you're saying is that you tried to give the alarm. Yeah, well, I mean, I couldn't help myself. You did indeed. What you did was very brave and wholly admirable. You mean? Perhaps I shouldn't mention it at this juncture, but I've thought about your case ever since our little chat in the chapel. It seemed to me then that your case was deserving of full remission. Oh, oh, th oh thank you very much. But after what you've just told me, I'll go even further. At considerable risk to yourself, and let us not forget, you did sustain quite a serious injury. Oh, oh yes, indeed. You attempted to prevent the escape of a dangerous criminal. Oh, well, that was on account of him being a spy. I'm not saying that he'd done it if he'd been a mate of mine. Yes, well, we won't go into that aspect of the matter. The point at issue is this. You behaved not only courageously, but in the manner of a mature and responsible citizen. Uh -huh. And it's my intention to go to the governor and discuss the possibility of a pardon for you. And I shall be very surprised, very surprised indeed. If he doesn't decide to take action immediately. There, old chap. What do you say to that? Push down the crows.
That seems a very long way to deal. Yeah, 263 miles. Get some kip. Hmm? I'm much too excited to sleep. So I noticed. It's a great pity your colleague had to hit poor lonely. He was only wishing us good luck after all. You know, I find that odd. Why? That lonely didn't really approve of me. He's very patriotic, for queen and country. You, I take it, have no such scruple. I work for who pays me. No thanks. I suppose David takes the biggest chair. David? I thought that was what the other man called him. Oh, you mean Dave? Oh. He takes 20. Two for the boat. The other geezer and I, we have 14 apiece. We're all right. You deserve much, much more. Mr. Bremner reported in, sir. Indeed. The tanker went through a better hangar at 0923. Mr. Cross was driving and Mr. Callum beside him. Excellent. Soon be over. How about some coffee? What are you of, your nut? I don't think so. David's other name is Callum, is it not? Lonely's kind of friend. It was just your bad luck they put him in a cell with me. He does talk, sir. And what you're talking about? And the mackerel. That was also a mistake. No ordinary criminal could get one of those in this country. I tell you, I don't know what you... Tell me nothing. There's nothing more to tell. And I remembered your advice. No flame, not even a spark. Move out of there. Yeah, we can't get at it now. All right, come on. Over here. <coughs> Keep him busy.
Here's he. He is now. How could Lubin have known? Lonely. She had the same cell, didn't they? Damn fools, they should have been told. Call Miller. All right, go on. We caught Lubin. We killed him. We left his body in a ditch with a gun nearby. It'll be found. It's bound to, sir. They move timbers from there every day. Splendid. KGB murdering their own people. That should discourage them very nicely. Cross? Yes, sir. Get my flask from the car, will you? We could all do with a drink. Yes, sir. Thanks. How was he? It was damn good. Saved my life anyway for what it's worth. You, I take it, killed Lugan. Won't come as a surprise to them anyway. What? The KGB. They seem to regard you as our top man here. Or had you forgotten? Oh no, sir. Have you forgotten? Do you regard me as the top man, sir? Oh, undoubtedly. Hmm. Not so long ago, I remember you were telling me that I was on probation. Going to a psychiatrist mill and all that claptrap. I, uh, I presume that's all over now. All finished? Yeah. Well, of course it would, wouldn't it? Be all finished. Me being your top man. Right, so. Top man gets the top jobs. So you be the most dangerous. And the dirtier. Future? It'll all be yours. Come here. Russian. Yeah. There'll be other ships. And aeroplanes. Come in all the time. The other lists, too. Bound to have your name on them. You better remember that.